The committee chairman says the whistleblowing policy of the administration is yielding positive results with stashes of funds so far discovered. He noted that the amount if deployed into funding infrastructure will augment the about 2 trillion naira which the present administration seeks to borrow locally and internationally. Uh, but if you look at what we have, the EFCC had recovered so far, it's not, going, it's, not, it's not in trillion. At least it will go a long way too to reduce the amount of both internal and external borrowing because it shows that uh, we have quite a good number of people who had stolen our our resources that if we're able to do the work very well we can recover and then reduce the amount of um, borrowing to finance our budget he calls on nigerians to take the anti-corruption fight as a movement in which everyone is an active participant to expose the few who have denied the majority of his commonwealth assuring members of the public of the commitment of the committee fight against financial crimes even though what the budget office presented was 17.5 billion in the final analysis, we might have something up to 20 billion or beyond. He says the risk involved in the duties of the operatives demands some safety measures, which the 2017 budget has aptly captured for the security of these operatives who are in the field. Um, in the budget that was presented last year, for instance, there was nothing like life insurance policy for the members, for the operatives. And we felt that in order to encourage them, the work they do, is very dangerous and we need to give them um, security for and assure them that at least in the event of any eventuality they are, they are, their loved one will be taken care of. The National Assembly earmarked some sort of money for life insurance. The lawmaker pointed out that to escape being caught with raw cash, most looters are now hiding their monies in real estate following the tight fiscal regime that makes it difficult for them to wire same out of the shores of Nigeria. From the House of Representatives, Osaiti Osadibame, reporting for Court TV News.